Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. We are back for round seven of my GT3 championships, this time from Zandvoort in the Netherlands. Uh, I've run a qualifier as usual, so place seventh there. We have 20 cars on the grid, and we're going to do eight laps here today. Uh, the track temperature, or the ambient temperature, is 10 degrees using the weather plugin, and definitely felt the effects of that during qualifying. Let's see how we go during the race. Bad start, not too much jostling. Just break a little bit early, see if we can squeeze through. Sixth. Okay, see if we can stick with this lead pack. Not sure what's happened with um, this track since the 0.35 update which was which was last year and the new gt3 with a couple of updates they've got they really seem to struggle here now which i wasn't finding before especially on that uh, third corner there with the very high inside curb they, they clip it all the time it tends to flip the car so you might get to see that this race hopefully it doesn't cause too much of an issue technical corners in the circuit. It's complex. See if we can keep up with this Audi. Try and make a pass on the next lap. Very slippy still. I run a very short practice today, so there's not much um, real road built up, which, which isn't helping. Are we keeping pace? Yep, just. That was a 147.95. Definitely a little bit better on a break in there. Got a good exit. Use all the circuit. This is the corner right here where they struggle. They clip that inside curb there. It just flips the car. There you go, yellow flag guaranteed just happened behind us. So I dare say there'll be a couple of DNFs this this race. Feels like I've been away from uh, factor two for too long. Actually missed this. Feels good when you get that corner complex there, right? Yeah, he's not pulling away, that's good. Looks like there was definitely an accident behind us. We've already got two and a half seconds on those guys. Which is good, takes the pressure off a little bit. Want to get into the top five here. stuff up like that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Aston. So as you as you know from uh, one of my previous that videos, if you watch my 1966 video, nine, all of this set of complex corner complexes here are as the originals were. The original circuit. So the hairpin corners two and three. All the way through here. Obviously, there was no wall complex here back in the 60s. And this is all pretty much untouched as well. Obviously, there's some, a few changes. It's from this point really that the circuit deviates from about here. Downshift because I'm not concentrating. Concentrate now and try and catch that uh, Audi. Still feels extremely slippery. <coughs> okay, I'm right up on 
little bit, I think. Just feels like I'm sliding through all these corners. Very little um, rubbering happening. Yeah, oh, it's pulling away. They're all pulling away. That lap was a 139.62. I only hope that one of them clack catches the corner up here. No, no such luck. This might end up being a little bit of a boring race. I was hoping it would be close around here. There's obviously not too many, oof, a bit tail happy there. There's obviously not too many overtaking options around this circuit. You've really got to kind of position yourself right for the, the straight, and maybe the um, sh chicane that's coming up. Oh, made some ground then, big time. There's hope. Yep, come on, come on, come on. Is the Audi struggling a little bit for group two? Was a one, Catch three, him on the, eight, the brakes point, here. Zero, zero. Oh, we did a 137. Pretty good. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> Just dodged that. And he's off big time. Well, we're in the top five, but not... <laughs> How I would have liked it, I would have liked to burn that. Oh. Very sliding through there. And here, basically just four wheel drifting through there. Fairly high camber here, but um, I should probably be running a lot higher rear downforce than I am because some of these corners are quite high speed. You know, they're over 120 kilometers now, some of these, so I've actually kind of let myself down there by running low aero. Like here, could have used it here and here for sure. As you can see, by the way, the tail's sliding out there. I'm making yeah, it up in the straight. One, three, nine, point four, four. Oof. Let's caught that. Those guys are just pulling away, aren't they? I've got no chance of catching them. And I think it's all because of my aero. I'm not getting any mechanical grip there. So there's no aero to help out. That was a horrible line, sorry guys. Tires are doing. Not too bad. Uh, traction control set to five 
why I'm not even concentrating. That was horrible. Traction control set to 5, ABS. Uh, sorry, traction control set to 1, ABS is set to 5. Okay, two laps to go. Wow, that was horrendous. What am I doing? Kind of feels like the track is starting to rubber up a little bit. Eight seconds. Wow. Oof. Super bumpy through there. That's a little bit better. Definitely feels like the track's rubbering up a little bit now. A little bit too late though. line through there. Feels great when you get it right and it makes you feel useless when you don't that, that corner complex. Same as there. I've got no chance of catching those guys. got any chance of getting anywhere near that 137 that I set before either. Okay, last lap. Let's make it a solid one. Good line out of there. game over. There's all the track there. Bit better line. I think I've got to be a little bit smoother with my inputs. I seem to be very jerky on my counter steer. Last corner, here we go. On the straight, he's all that corner. And there you go, across the line. Well, not too bad from, <laughs> well, from seventh to fifth, not too good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, give it a like. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.